Hello everyone, Jake here. Today I'll be showing you how to use Malwarebytes. So just search for MBAM download or Malwarebytes download and you want to go to the actual Malwarebytes download page. Don't go to these CNET ones and all that other stuff because, well, it's always better to just download it from where you want, you know, where the actual vendor is. So just here, we're going to use the free one and we're going to click save. So what Malwarebytes is, is it's a malware scanner. This is not a virus protection software. This will not protect you from getting viruses. It won't protect you while you're surfing the web. All it's going to do is when you actually have a virus or you have something that's potentially unwanted, it will scan your whole computer and find the stuff that should be gone. So now you're going to want to run the installer. So just click the file that you've just installed, hit run. Now you can select different languages. I can read English, so I'm going to select English and hit OK. Then just hit next. You want to accept the agreement, next. And now as you see, it is an x86 software, which means it's a 32-bit software. It's not a 64-bit software, it's sort of irrelevant. You can press next on all of these things install and this is very good for removing viruses and fake malware detection things now that free trial of malware bytes pro you don't want that unless you want to buy it eventually so you unselect that and hit ok when you open it it's going to check for updates and then when it finds the updates it's going to update the virus definitions and that'll give you the latest definition. So any viruses that have come out that they've only just found will be included in these definitions and you'll be able to scan for them, basically. So as you see, it's just updating the database now. So it's just going through downloading the updates. Now it's finished downloading the updates. I'm going to show you some features. So you can do a scan, a threat scan, which is a full scan, or a custom scan. Now it does have hyperscan. To get the hyperscan, you have to pay for it. Now these are the options. You can add exclusions to files or folders in your scan. If you say, know that there's files that come up, like say this folder has dodgy stuff in it that you don't want to scan, do that. Web exclusions, to do that, you've got to pay for it. Detection and protection. I always hit scan for rootkits because rootkits are not very good. Now, update settings. Don't worry about that really. History settings. If you want to view the logs, you can view them in here. You just need to follow that path and that will take you to the log. Or you can specify a different path for the log to go to. Access policies, you have to pay for that. Same with all these other things. They come with the pro or premium versions of Malwarebytes. And in history, you can view what's in quarantine and delete them. Now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a custom scan because I don't want to scan the whole computer. I just want to scan my C drive, which is the drive that everything's installed on. So I'll just select C. Make sure you tick scan for rootkits and then hit scan now. Now what it'll do, it'll first check for updates and then it will run the scan. Now the scan will take some time to run. I have ran this and sped this right up for you guys. But um, generally, like this took me half an hour to run this scan. Now the scan's finished, you'll be greeted with this saying what's detected. If nothing's detected, it'll tell you that nothing's detected. As you see, down in the bottom right hand corner, it says non-malware detected. So these are things that you might not want on your computer or might be risky. Now, I like all of these things and I use them except for this Snapdo. I do not want Snapdo on my computer, so I'm going to put that to quarantine and add exclusions for all of these other things that it's detected. And what the exclusions are going to do is they're going to stop next time. It's not going to scan these and it's not going to detect them. But these quarantine items, when I hit apply actions, they're all going to get sent to the quarantine. So they're locked, you know, if there is things that you don't want running and they've been detected, 
they won't run while they're in quarantine, but they're not actually deleted. To delete them, you want to go into history and select the ones that you want to delete. You can restore them from there or delete them or delete all. I'm going to delete all. And there you go. Now your computer's free from the viruses that malware bytes can detect. Thank you. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. Visit here'sjaken.com and we'll see you next time.